more fun this round. We'll head it out to the local pond and uh, decide to see if we can get one of those uh, uh, larger bass that uh, we were seeing the other day. And so uh, we started out uh, fishing the other side of the pond and ended up um, hooking up with a few bluegill. Uh, not as big as the uh, bruisers that we were getting the other day, but uh, they were still pretty fun to uh, catch. Here's our first one that will uh, catch this round. This one went for that grasshopper. And what we notice is uh, as soon as we get one on the uh, grasshopper, sure enough, uh, there's a, a bass seems to be uh, out there lurking in the area uh, wanting to take it. So uh, we kept at it. Caught uh, several others. Not as many as we did the other day, but uh, we were short on time and I decided just to see if we can uh, see what an evening round would do. And here's our uh, uh, another one that we'll bring in. I believe this one's going to be a sunfish. Yep, sure enough, it's a sunfish. I also went for that grasshopper. Alright, fun stuff. And like you see, all those weeds and whatnot, uh, a lot of uh, stuff clobbering the area. Here's uh, where we were seeing those big bruiser bluegill the other day, and you can see these big size uh, beds. And then here's a, here's a bass that's kind of hugging by the shore, or by the, uh, uh, by the bank. It's got a little rock uh, face for the uh, bank, and here's where we're just kind of sneaking up on one with the uh, GoPro, see if we can get a better look at them underwater. And sure enough, this one's uh, actually a nice looking one. We'll end up catching this one to uh, um, get some good video and uh, pictures of it here shortly. So we've uh, caught a bluegill, and we've got it uh, kind of hanging around in this bed here, and sure enough, the bass is going to go for it. He grabs it, runs with it, give it some line, and hopefully he'll stay. Uh, it'll stay in his mouth long enough that we can get a, a hook set in without uh, losing him. Uh, the other day we we lost one that uh, was on the line for about a couple of minutes, and then uh, was able to throw the hook on us. But this round we were able to keep him on the hook, and we're hoping that uh, we don't lose him. It's buried in the uh, weeds, and we're hopefully uh, trying to get him out of there. And maybe stay on the hook long enough, just so we can get a uh, grab them and take a picture of them. I almost got him, but then he runs on us again. We're using a four weight rod. Uh, we use that grasshopper to uh, catch a little bluegill, and then sure enough, the bluegill got uh, taken by the bass. All right, almost there. You can see all the uh, weeds and whatnot that uh, are clobbering in the area as well as on the line. And we're using a, a 10 pound tippet, so uh, we're hoping that we can just horse them in. Again, we're at uh, four weight, uh, still got enough backbone to bring this guy in. I almost got him. There he is. Cool stuff. Nice bruiser. Ended up uh, measuring out to 19 inches. Cool, cool beans. And uh, you can see that uh, we lucked out with that uh, little grasshopper uh, staying hooked in its uh, lip, which is uh, spitting out that uh, bluegill. And, uh, here we'll let him go, let him get bigger, and maybe produce some other ones. Cool stuff. All right. Till next time, we'll catch y'all later. And good luck and good fishing.